Hey, my nerdians, I'm back at it again with the fun facts of the week. Again, we do this every Monday and Friday. I hope you guys enjoy. This time it's going to be about... The villain of Captain America, Red Skull. Let's get right in. Fun facts number one. For the first fact, it's one of my favorites, actually. I have a personal liking to this. That in the 1997 mashup between Marvel and DC, the Batman and Captain America comic book, Joker, the lunatic himself, actually hires the Red Skull to steal an atomic bomb. But here's the kicker. When he finds out that the Red Skull is actually a Nazi, the Joker actually viciously attacks him, claiming, I may be a criminal lunatic, but I'm an American criminal lunatic. So even psychopaths that kill people freely hate Nazis. Fun fact number two. According to the Marvel organization, S.H.I.E.L.D., the place that is made to defend against all the big bads, the four biggest threats are actually Doctor Doom, Venom, Magneto, and Red Skull. Now, I don't believe Red Skull belongs with that pantheon of big bads because he is just a Nazi, but he is a super Nazi that, at least in the movie, used the Cosmic Cube to almost wipe out New York. So, meh. Fun fact number three. So one of the coolest things about the Wolverine, Red Skull, and the Captain America is they all fought each other before. Wolverine actually fought alongside Captain America in World War II, and this is just the comic books, the movie, not so much from what we've seen. But did you know when the Red Skull tried to impersonate Captain America, at least wore his outfit and act said, hey, I'm Captain America now, Wolverine decapitated him with Captain America's shield. Just flat out, just popped his head off. Which is one of the most awesome and bloody scenes in comic books I've seen. And it just showed how vicious Wolverine really is. And how, even if he's superhuman, Red Skull is still human. Fun fact number four. In Marvel, there's a pantheon of big bads. There's so many that it's hard to even count them or even remember them all. But there's one that stands out to being the worst, which is not in power sense, but just ideology sense, that everyone stays away from. You guessed it right? Red Skull. In fact, there's a lot of villains, villains that actually refuse to ally with him, and some straight out attack him, thinking him just a pure enemy because he's a Nazi. It goes to show, no matter what time, date, or year, Nazis can burn. Fun fact number five. John Smith, also known as Red Skull, was born to an abusive drunken German dad, Hermann Schmidt, and a very saint-like mother, Martha. By the way, what's with all the Marthas in comic books? But I digress. What happened was that when he was born, his drunken dad tried to drown him, which is horrible. This being said that he killed, or being at least accused of killing Martha at this point, the baby, John Smith, was taken by the doctor that delivered him, trying to save the child. This turned out to the next day after the baby was taken, that Herman Smith committed suicide. And that's how the Red Skull started. He was put in a program and eventually joined the third rank in his early teens and actually became a full adult. Towards the Nazis, his whole adulthood was in the Nazis. And that's his origin. Majorly. Well, my nerdings, this is DK, and those are my fun facts about the Red Skull himself, John Schmidt, or Johan Schmidt, however you want it. And I hope you guys are enjoying this series. It's fun to do. I'm sorry about the two weeks that there was no fun facts. Family matters happened. And you know how it is. Keep in mind we have a podcast that comes out every Wednesday. Go ahead and check that out because it's all things nerd by nerds for nerds. And we take listener questions and comments. And we, if you want us to discuss about something, let us know. If you want us to answer any questions, let us know. 
because we will do that. We have fun fat, uh, fun little uh, news stories and everything. I hope you guys can go and check that out. And I hope you guys enjoy. This is Nerdum. I'm DK. See you, Nerdians.